Okay? Yep. Hi everyone, I'm Stephen Grapasso, and we're gonna do problem two of homework number two. And here we have a communication link, and it consists of two noisy channels in series. And we're given some statistics about the noisy channels, they're both identical. And we're also given some statistics about uh, what's presented at the inputs in terms of ones and zeros and their probabilities. And what we need to solve today, the first part of the problem, is determine the probability of getting a one here, and then subsequently the probability of getting a one here, the final output, x2, x3. Um, and then, finally, knowing that we have one here, we have to determine the probability of having a zero at the input. In other words, is this one due, due uh, causal, or is it due to an error? Um, Anyway, so let's begin with uh, finding the probability of a one here. I think that's part A. So it's probability of uh, x2 equal a one. And we can almost see it uh, by inspection from this diagram. To get a one here, there are two paths, here and here. And we can see that the input, we have a 0.2, and the channel has a 0.4, so we have 0.2 times 0.4 plus 0.8 times 0.7. And so if we work all that out, we end up with that's equal to the probability of x2 or 1 given x1 equals 0 times the probability of x1 equals a 1. And uh, that plus the probability of x2 equal 1 given that x1 equals a 1 times the probability of x1 equals a 1 and now it all works out to probability of x2 equal to 1 becomes 0.4 times 0.2 plus 0.7 times 0.8 is equal to 0.64 which is what we have here so that checks out and that's good. So my point is you can almost see it visually. And then you do the check. Now we're going to do the same thing for x3. I'll just erase this. So we want to determine the probability for x3 to equal 1. And again, I'm, we're going to look at it by inspection. We can see that we have two paths to get to a 1, the diagonal and straight across. And we have a 0.36 here times 0.4 plus 0.64 here times 0.7 will give us 0.59 too. Let's prove that out. So we have probability of x3 equal to 1. That is going to equal, here we are, um, that's going to equal, oh, there's a couple ways to do it. That's going to wrap. What I'm going to also show is that um, we can determine the probability of having a zero here, which is by going from this path and adding to this path. And then when you have all that, we could subtract that from one, and that'll give us a probability of one. So let's do it that way. So that being said, we're going to have a probability x3 equals zero given x2 equals 0 times the probability x2 equals 0. That's one condition. The other condition is uh, probability of x3 equals 0 given x2 equals 1 times probability of x2 equals 1. And this is going to equal 0.6 times 0.36 plus 0.3 times 0.64, and that's going to equal 0.408. And what is that? That's the probability of x3 equals zero. Probability of x3 equals zero. And what did I say? That the probability of, of x3 equals one is equal to one minus that. So we're gonna have one minus 0.408, and that's going to equal 0.5. Nine two, and that's that. You can see it there. 
So we have 0.408 for a zero and 0.592 for a one. Cut there.